Here are the formulas for the mean and the variance of a discrete random variable x. So summing over the outcomes of the random variable, so these are the, the small values x, uh, the value times its probability, that's the mean mu, either using the expectation notation or the standard um, symbol for a population mean. The variance is the average of x minus the mean squared, so those are the squared deviations from the mean. We're summing over the outcomes that times the probability. Um, an equivalent expression, um, the expected value of x squared, so the sum over outcomes x squared times the probability, and then that quantity minus the mean square. So I'd like to show you how to do this in Excel. So let me set up a probability distribution. Um, suppose my random variable takes on um, values 1, 2, 3, and 4 with probabilities, uh, let's say 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0.1. Quite sure why it thinks I want so many decimal places there. Anyway, there we go. <clears throat> so flicking back to the formula, we want the sum of x times the probability. So let's make a column with x times the probability. So using the formula equals x times the probability that the random variable takes on that value. If I copy that down, um, it works those out. <coughs> and then the sum of those quantities is exactly the mean. So for this particular random variable, the mean is 2. Flicking back to the variance expression, um, probably the easiest way of working out is the second expression. So this is the sum of x squared times the probabilities minus the mean squared. So flicking back here, x squared times the probability that x equals that outcome. So again, using the formula equals the outcome squared times the probability. Copying that down for all outcomes and then adding. So that's the sum of those, and then we want to subtract the mean squared. Okay, so that's the expected value of x, and this is the variance of x. Again, the sum of these expressions, which is x squared times the probability, minus um, the mean, which we've just worked out here. If we... Um, wanted to use this other method that's absolutely fine a little bit more fiddly but let's let's do that as well just to make sure everything reconciles so here x minus mu squared times the prob whoops probability so equals x minus the mean mu squared times the probability. Now we want to lock in the mean when we copy that down. So again, using the absolute cell reference with the dollar. So copy that down. Um, so that's x minus mu squared times the probabilities. And then if we add those guys up, um, again, a variance of 1. 